Personalizing your email notifications in Google Classroom. It can be overwhelming to receive a millions and millions of notifications. So I'm gonna show you today how to personalize it so that you get the important ones and you get rid of the ones you don't need. So Google Classroom did get a little makeover. So when you log into Google Classroom, this is your landing page. Over on the left-hand side, you see the three lines. It's access to your main menu. We call it a stack of pancakes, a hamburger, whatever you would like, but that is how you access your main menu. So click those three lines, scroll all the way towards the bottom, go to settings. And once you click on settings, it'll bring you to the notifications area. This is where you personalize what notifications you get. Of course, I do recommend that you do turn on email notifications, but you can personalize which notifications you are emailed about. So if someone comments on your post, they mention you or they send a private comment on work, you can be notified. Those are options that you have the option of turning on or off. So I have this one off. I can simply simply slide it over to turn it on. I think these are important. So as a teacher, I probably would leave it on, but it's up for you. The next section shows classes you are enrolled in. So um, I really didn't care about classes that I'm enrolled in because I'm actually a teacher and it's not an important class, but some teachers you are enrolled into your principal's classes where they have important information that they update you with announcements. So you would need to turn on some of those settings. So if they're posting assignments for you, reminders, things for you, you may want to turn it on for those particular classes. Depends on what your staff is using it for at that time. Then this next section shows classes you teach. So you may want to see, get an email of late submissions. If students are turning to work after the time, resubmission. If you got an invitation to be a co-teacher in a class, it'll receive an email because I have it turned on. Scheduled posts published or failed. You want to verify that these are turned on. These are all optional for you, but you do have the option to turn them on or off. So definitely peruse through those and see which of these that you would like to be notified by. That means you will receive an email notification of anything that's happening that you have turned on. You do also have the class notifications. These settings will apply both to your email and your device notifications for these classes. So for each class that I have, I can decide if I want to get those notifications for those classes. I can just slide it off for those classes. It's either all or none for this right here. So you do have those options as well for your class notifications. So this is how you personalize what notifications you're receiving for your classes.